brothers, okay? Sell Joseph into slavery. Travis talked about last week how Joseph was, you know, here his father's favorite, sold into slavery, uh, head of Potiphar's household, thrown into jail, chief jailer, and then second in command of the world, right? So he, God's off doing great things through Joseph. Because Joseph's just like trucking along. He's like, you know what, Lord? You and me, here we go. Travis, we can talk a lot about that next week. But the brothers over here still continue to live their life in a way of entitlement because they thought getting rid of Joseph, that dad would instantly turn around and be like, I love all of you other 11 sons. You're the best. Um, but he didn't. He actually ended up picking another son to be his favorite. The son that was one younger than Joseph, who was Rachel's second son, Benjamin. Okay? So then starts the cycle all over again where they still aren't his favorites, okay? So they're still off struggling with this. Joseph is now over here in Egypt, living large and in charge, um, and a famine strikes uh, Canaan, where Joseph's brothers live, okay? And they're forced to travel to Egypt and to ask for food, because they are actually starving to death. There, there is no food. For years they couldn't grow anything. Like, this is the last resort. Okay? And they get there and they don't even recognize or realize who that guy is that they're talking with until he reveals himself as Joseph, their brother. Like, can you imagine that? Can you imagine thinking that, like, you're all high and mighty and, like, you just got rid of this problem in your way and then probably, I don't know, several years later, here it pops up again and you're having to beg to that person crazy, right? What an awesome experience to have to be humbled. And the cool thing is, is that Joseph in that moment could have acted the same way they did in, in his entitlement. I want these guys to pay for what they did to me. I want revenge. Instead, he said, I, want to, I actually am going to extend grace and forgiveness. And I'm going to help my brothers. I'm not even going to just help them. I'm going to move them from the land that is not growing anything and won't grow anything for the next five years, I'm going to move them to Egypt. And we're going to live in just awesome luxury for the next, uh, not a little under 100 years, because then it kind of goes south after Joseph dies. We'll get there later. But um, they're going to live really good for a while. Okay? He could have at that moment been like, hmm, you sold me into slavery, and now I'm going to sell you. But instead, he acted in humility. And he took off that, that Egyptian face and said, hey, it's me. Like, this is who I am, and I, and I love you, and I forgive you for all these things. Go get Dad. Go get everybody and bring them here. Guys, you are in a place right now where you're at point A. And you're looking at where you want to be at point B. Right? Everybody's asking you, what do you want to be when you grow up? When, where are you going to go to college? What are you going to major in? Like already, and you're like, I don't know, I just started my freshman year of high school. Calm down, people. I don't even know who I'm going to be in high school. Um, right? That might be the question you're trying to ask yourself. Who am I even going to be in Stillwater? Right? As college leaders, college leaders are trying to figure out, where am I going after college? <laughs> wait, why did I, wait. Or am I sure about this major that I picked? Like, I'm not really sure if I knew what I was doing when I was 18 years old and picked this. Um, you're trying to still figure out. You're going to always try to be figure out what, what's next. Who am I going to be next? But the thing of it is, is you choose that right now. What you practice right now is who you will become. So are you acting like Joseph? Are you living your life in faithfulness and obedience and in humility? working hard for the hand that's been dealt for you? Or are you acting like Joseph's brothers? Are you being the older, stronger person, but really being the stupid one? And acting like, you know what? I don't have to do these things. You should basically just give them to me. Or I don't like to work hard. I don't like to sweat. I don't know how many of y'all play sports in here when you work out. I can't say that I just like absolutely love I actually really do not enjoy running at all, but I know that it's good for me. Um, and I have to push through that and push past that. 
because the results are living a life of healthiness, right? Not to necessarily like be fit, be in shape, all that stuff, but just to be healthy, right? But it's hard. There's no quick fix. There's no easy way, right? The easy ways always lead to destruction. Put in the hard work, and that's where you guys want to end up being. So that's what I want to leave you guys with is I want you to really think on it. I'm going to challenge you to think on who are you right now? Because who you are right now is who you're going to become. So are you Joseph? Are you living a life of humility, working hard? And if you're not, how can you? Where do you want to be? And how can you set goals to get there? Or are you Joseph's brothers and are you needing a little bit of some challenge of people coming around you and saying, hey, you're being a little bit of an entitled brat here. What can we do to, to get from the easy path back to the hard path? So, I'm going to pray for us. And then we got some other things to do. Lord God, I thank you so much for tonight. Uh, God, I thank you so much for the fact that you, one, um, that you created Joseph. God, that you uh, created him to be the second youngest brother to have the story that he has, uh, that you recorded it in scripture that we can read. Um, God, thank you so much for allowing us just opportunities to learn. Um, and God, I want to pray for every student, um, high school student, every college student in here, um, and even for us as staff, God, that we would um, be able to examine our own hearts um, to see where we are. And God, if we are, Joseph, we are the older brothers in this situation. Um, God, I pray that we would want to press in to humility, that we want to press into faithfulness and obedience and not into the easy path. God, I pray that if uh, we are living lives um, where we believe we deserve something more, God, may we remember that we don't even deserve your grace. Lord, that it is you are undeserved. Your grace is undeserved. God, that is the only thing that we get to receive um, that we don't deserve. Everything else, Lord God, you have You've asked us to step out in faithfulness, Lord, um, and to work hard for that. Um, God, I just pray that you would go before, behind, and beside each one of these students. Um, God, I pray that if they do not have a relationship with you, Lord, that they would start to ask questions about what that looks like, um, what it looks like to not be in legalism of you, but to be in a relationship with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.